Hello, I'm Rudy Harper. Here are your headlines for 7 Action News. Pfizer will start shipping out its vaccine from Kalamazoo plant Sunday morning with the shipments arriving in states Monday. The FDA granted emergency authorization to the vaccine on Friday and a CDC advisory committee voted to recommend it on Saturday. These developments come as Michigan reports 4,400 more cases of coronavirus, pushing the total number of cases above 430,000. The state is also reporting 206 more deaths. Attorneys representing a half dozen of Trump supporters are seeking an emergency appeal to the United U.S. Supreme Court in an effort to overturn the election results. Last week, a federal judge ruled against a last-minute push, saying it would disenfranchise the votes of more than 5.5 million Michigan citizens. President Trump lost Michigan to President-elect Joe Biden by 154,000 votes. The plaintiffs are now petitioning to have their appeal heard by the nation's highest court. Officials haven't found any evidence of widespread voter fraud. Times are tough, but there is still a lot of good out there this holiday season. Shoppers at the Roseville Walmart say they were approached by an anonymous woman at the checkout who asked if she could pay for their purchases. One shopper we spoke to was buying gifts for his daughter and said after a tough financial year, this couldn't have happened at a better time. She was an angel. She was definitely an angel. But just when you think there's not good people left in this world anymore, you get surprised. And she surprised me. And Ricky says he just wishes the woman could see his daughter's face Christmas morning. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Thanks, Rudy. We'll stay mostly cloudy for tonight, but temperatures will be dropping. A few rain and snow showers passing through, too. 31 degrees in Detroit. Notice all the 20s that we're going to have for a colder start to the day for Sunday.